What's going on YouTube? Back here at the spot again. Apologize for any wind noise, but we're gonna go over three mods that you can do. The top three mods actually for your Q50 G37, 370Z, 350Z HR and G35HR. So any car that has an HR or VHR motor. Uh, I'm gonna list you the top three mods of what you can do. For a little disclaimer cars. for everybody, especially if you're looking to buy a uh, Z or a G or even a Q50. Um, or even a G35, anything with an HR, VHR motor. Now, I do want to list a disclaimer. Before you uh, mod any car, especially when you're buying it, double check uh, uh, anything that's sort of wrong with it. You want to make sure that the maintenance is up to date. And just want to make sure that all the, uh, all the maintenance and service records are up to date and everything, like the gallery gasket and the, and the uh, early model cars are good to go. Everything is all good to go. So uh, let's begin listing all of these mods. All right, so number one is uh, test pipes. Um, those are the most restrictive part of the car, especially in many modern car actually is the catalytic converter. So I'm not telling you guys to break any laws or anything like that, but test pipes are the most restrictive part on the VQ flat form. Um, you can either get unresonated test pipes, which will make it really sound raspy and trumpety, which I don't really recommend. I recommend usually either long tube headers, like ISR or Motordyne, or Fast Intentions, or even BE headers if you got the extra cash for all that. Um, some resonated test pipes that I recommend, which I've got currently, is Art uh, Pipes, which is basically the advanced, you know, resonated technology pipes from Motordyne. And some resonating test pipes that I usually recommend are Burke and ISR. And the reason why I don't really recommend test pipes with flex uh, in them, like Megan Racing or 1320 or any of those cheap eBay test pipes, is because of the heat, especially if you're going to do flame map and all that. Um, the flexes will rot away, especially if you live in a salty northern state like I do in Delaware. Um, they will rot away, especially with the temperatures and the flames. It will be known to be crack over time, and it's just better to get, just get a, uh, a straight through pipe without any flexes in the test pipe itself. Number two, uh, this would pertain to us G and Z platform owners. Not so much the Q50, because they got a great air box in itself, is the long tube intakes. I recommend usually Z1 still in for 2.5 inch intakes. Those don't really require a tune, but in order to see any gains, you have to get a tune for it. And for three inch intakes, which you do need a tune for in order to have it properly running and working, um, you can get admin, UPT, Upton intakes, any of those three inch intakes, but be warned that they will not work on the car without it untuned. So that's just a fair warning. 2.5 inch intakes, like Stillen and Z1, for example, they do work. As you can see, I have Z1 long tube intakes going down into a dual filter. The only reason why I do not recommend InGen or Takeda intakes, well, you can get Takeda intakes, but you have to go to a, a dual filter, like Stillen Gen 3 or Z1. The single filter will on the Takeda that it comes with. The Takeda AFE uh, long tube intakes only come with one filter, and that will confuse the MAF sensor. That's what I heard, to be honest with you. And then the InGen, it makes the same power as a stock airbox if you would do, you know, let's say KN or AFE drop in filters, they make the same power, and it is prone to. Uh, to hydro lock because it's sitting literally right below the wheel well. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Yes, hello, yet. it's me. Um, I am actually like 6364. I get questions all the time on, you know, how do I fit in this car and, you know, all tall drivers? Well, I just have the seat back and, you know, just recline it a little bit. Otherwise, I could fit in it. But the last mod that I'm going to tell you about is uh, quality cat back. Uh, no straight pipe, <laughs> you know, nobody likes sounding like a straight pipe VQ. I mean, nobody wants that unresonated, you know, test pipes and, uh, nobody likes, 
you know, resonators cut off and muffler deletes and all that. It just makes it sound raspy and just doesn't sound good. Quality cat back uh, exhaust for any of these cars, a GZ, Q, would usually be an Avidia, Motordyne, Arc, any of those. Um, if you want to go single, go single exit, uh, ISR and Tomy are usually the best options, especially for a three inch. You can also go custom. Uh, I'm going to shout out uh, Speed Culture Studio. Got an amazing cat back that you can do custom wise. I'll send you a link down below in the description box on how to get uh his custom cat pack and almost sounds exactly like a motor nine for like half the price so that's another option that you can do um for custom wise uh the y pipe is pretty much restrictive um it's only like 1.75 at the y pipe inch wise and i could be wrong but i think it's like two after the y back so it's like, you know, like a quality cat back and then just get a tune with Uprev or Ecutec like I have. You can easily achieve 330 wheel horsepower or um, 340. I've seen some cases with different tuners and all that. I make with just three mods, Z1 intakes, Motor 9 R pipes, Motor 9 cat back at RT Tuning in Pennsylvania. And I make uh, 326, 262. So it can be done. It's good enough for me. This is a daily. It's only got 60,000 miles. I'm very content with it. I got no issues. I made sure I did all my maintenance. Maintenance is key, to be honest. So I always tell everybody, get done your maintenance first before you start modding your car. Otherwise, it's going to be a, it's going to be double the trouble. You know, you got to play with, you got to pay to play with these cars. And they're just, you know, they're fun out of the box. But in order to make it a little bit more fun, just it. drop a comment down below if I miss something. Um you know just like and share it and subscribe to the video i'll be pumping out more videos soon hopefully thank you so much guys have a good day